Hello YouTubers, Roblinky Jr. here, and welcome to 33 Things Wrong with Battlefield 2042. Now I want to preface this video by saying that I am really enjoying my time with Battlefield 2042 despite the game having its fair share of issues. There also have been rumors that there will be a day one patch, and most of these issues might have already been fixed in said patch or in an internal build. But I wanted to make a list not to shit on the game, but just to point out the issues that I have been experiencing or that people I play with have been experiencing and I also want to mention that I will be leaving balancing out of this because there is still a lot of balancing to be done in regards to weapons, uh, gadgets, vehicles and all that. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So number one, squad system is really bad. There's no way to create your own squad like past battlefields. There's no way to pick which squad you actually want to join. Um, it, it just feels really incomplete and there's no reason to have to cycle between a bunch of squads to join a squad that you actually want to be in. There should just be a squad menu that allows you to create a squad or join a squad without having to do this weird thing of cycling through a bunch of different squads just to get the one that you want to be in. So no excuse for that. There should be a squad system that is clean and just gets the job done. Two, if there are more than three people you want to play with, you being the fourth, once you're in the game, you have to party swap. So somebody have to, has to leave the party that you are in in order for your maybe fourth friend to join. You cannot just join on somebody. You absolutely have to be in their party. Why is that? There's absolutely no reason for this to be a thing. You should just be able to join on people even if you're not in their party. Number three, you can't revive people when they are too close to a wall slash object. I think a lot of people already know this and it does happen quite frequently. So just really frustrating when you get killed close to an object and you are revivable because there's no enemies nearby, but because of this bug, you are not revivable. Same thing if you are the one trying to revive somebody that got killed uh, close to a wall slash object. It's just annoying to not be able to get them back up for the scoreboard slash tab when you open it is really incomplete in my opinion there's no reason for there not to be a complete scoreboard um, you can't see the ping of other people you can't see death counts that I don't know I just like being able to see the entirety of the people in the server and where I, I am in the leaderboard on that server you know just to get an idea of how I'm performing um, but yeah I would just like to see a scoreboard back number five the kill feed should be in the top right like every other game I don't know why they're trying to reinvent the wheel. I feel like the kill feed in the top right is always good. I feel it gets really cluttered in the bottom left hand corner. You have the mini map and then the kill feed on top of it on top of people asking for revives. So I don't know. It's, it's really messy and it would be nice to be able to have the kill feed in the top right. Number six, the elephant in the room game performance. It's no secret that Battlefield 2042 needs a lot more optimization and even on higher end systems it is running absolutely terrible. I have a pretty decent system with a Ryzen 7 3800X, a RTX 3080 and 32 gigabytes of RAM with really fast hard drives and I'm struggling to get a solid 80 FPS with sometimes dropping all the way down to 30 and 20 frames per second so definitely a lot of work to be done with optimization. 7. Lack of HUD customization and by HUD customization, I mean the opportunity to make objectives on the map more opaque when you're looking at them through walls. Um, there wasn't really a lot of HUD customization in past Battlefield titles, most notably that comes to mind. Battlefield 4 uh, allowed you to increase the size of the minimap, make certain things more opaque or more transparent when you're not looking at them directly. Uh, there seems to be a lot of visual clutter in Battlefield 2042 with objectives all over the place and just covering a lot of your screen even when you're not necessarily looking straight at it. So a, a, a wide variety of HUD customization options would be a welcome addition. Number eight, audio quality is poor. Uh, I feel like there's always footsteps around me despite not a single person being around. It's hard to discern where people are coming from and generally it just feels really muddy audio wise. So yeah, definitely some work to be done there. Nine, there's no visual cue that friendlies are close to you when you are downed and waiting for a revive, which makes it so that a lot of people are just skipping because they're completely unaware that somebody is actually close to them and able to revive them. There should be a visual cue somewhere on the screen that says X person on your team is like 20 meters away and can revive you. That way you wait for a revive. You're not just going to skip right away. We had that in past Battlefield titles. Don't know why it's not there anymore. Definitely should be added. 
10. Comma rows only works half the time. Um, sometimes you hit the button to bring up the comma rows and it just flickers on and then goes back off. It's incredibly annoying considering that even in the beta, we didn't have a comma rows whatsoever. Now that we do have one, half the time it doesn't work, especially if you're a squad leader trying to give orders. Um, yeah, it, it is very annoying and needs to be fixed. 11. Scopes keep bugging out and turning into a 1x, so if you have multiple optics on a weapon and sometimes you swap out between a 1.25x or a 1x up to a magnified optic like something like a 6x, sometimes it'll bug out and the 6x will you just become a 1x. You won't have any zoom factor within the scope itself. Number 12, sometimes reviving wouldn't complete multiple times in a row in hazard zone. So I would just be over my friend's body trying to revive them and I would press the button to start the revive animation and it would just stop for no reason. That happened multiple times in a row. Number 13, leaving a vehicle sometimes doesn't work despite you mashing the key on your keyboard or your controller as much as you can to leave the vehicle. Um, often it just doesn't work and you end up getting killed. 14 takedown animation bugs out and just stops halfway through and then you're just sitting there with the enemy right in front of you and you end up just getting shot. 15 sometimes when you're down your character model just freaks out and it makes it seem as though you're still alive. Number 16 apparently throwing back grenades doesn't work or is inconsistent. I have yet to successfully throw back a grenade. Number 17, shooting people out of a vehicle doesn't always work. I tried shooting somebody point blank in the face that was in the gunner seat of an LATV4 and he just proceeded to mow me down with the minigun. Yeah, not fun. Number 18, when joining a party that is already in a game, it just keeps booting you back out to the main menu or flat out just puts you in the game, kicks you back out, and you just stay there until those people are done. And it says party leader selects uh, game mode. Number 19, when trying to get a transport vehicle in base, you can't spawn in despite some being available, like two out of four in play, you're trying to spawn on it and it just shows it that it's grayed out and you can't actually spawn on it. Number 20, there's no all chat. Don't know why that is. It's always nice to be able to communicate with everybody in the match. Number 21, there's no VoIP system right now in the game, which is really weird considering that we always had voice over IP for squads and past battlefield titles um don't know why that is uh, when you're trying to communicate to your squad quickly that the pinging system can't offer it's nice to be able to voice chat with them instead of trying to type it out so yeah just very frustrating 22 forces you to spawn when the game starts even if you didn't choose a spawn point slash vehicle don't don't know why that is i would like there to be more control over where and when you spawn uh, instead of just flat out spawning you on foot and the base right when the game starts 23 points on the comma rows don't always reflect who controls it so it gets really confusing trying to assign orders when you're a squad leader for example if the enemy team is controlling c1 and you open your comma rows and try to give an order for c1 it'll show up as blue instead of red so yeah just confusing number 24 the little lights all over the place look like scope lints it drives me absolutely crazy i'm constantly turning around all over the place to try and see if there's a sniper looking at me but yeah those lights definitely need to be changed Number 25, when downed, your teammates are sometimes highlighted as red as if they were the one who killed you. So yeah, it just really adds to the confusion of when you're killed and waiting for a revive, whether you should skip or not. Number 26, the reticle is too pale on certain sites or too transparent and makes the sites completely unusable. I mostly noticed this in portal mode in Battlefield 3 Conquest, uh, but we should have a way to change the reticle on sites like we did in past Battlefields. I know it's not realistic to change the color of the reticle but still it would be a nice thing to have 27's spawns are sometimes really bad and you spawn directly in front or next to a person or a vehicle and proceed to get melted 28 current fire rate only visible in the crosshair unless you ads don't know why that is it's really bad because especially when you're sprinting you can't see your crosshair you can only see the middle part of your crosshair which is the dot you can't see the line so there's no way to know if you're on single fire burst or full auto without either stopping to look at your crosshair or stopping to ads then proceed to look at your fire rate really weird that they don't have it available to see quickly at a glance by looking at the bottom right hand corner of your screen should be there number 29 settings are under accessibility i don't know why why not just have the settings be called settings i know it's a small detail but it just bothers me number 30 on rare occasions when you ads and move your mouse the weapon doesn't follow or there is a delay before it catches up to where you moved i i didn't manage to record this i wasn't recording when it happened to me but i'll try and find a clip for this if there is you'll see it on screen right now 
Number 31, there's no option to rent a server so it is persistent rather than dying when no one is left on it than having to re-host it. So just a, a community thing, I think having uh, community servers that you can pay for that are persistently up no matter how many people are on it just makes it so it's a lot easier to find the servers that you enjoy playing on and just has a big community aspect to Battlefield and it's always been the case in past Battlefield titles you knew certain servers were really fun to play on and you would constantly jump on it but in this case the person would have to rehose the server every time it goes empty so yeah just would be a nice thing to have. Number 32 seemed to have lost a lot of settings that we used to have like zooming in your minimap, weapon DOF, uh, separate controls for helicopters and jets and such. Yeah, I might have missed some, I probably did. Just a lot of settings that we seem to have lost over time. Don't know why really, uh, it makes no sense to me if we had it in past titles and we don't have it anymore. And finally, number 33, you can spawn out of the combat area on game start, giving you 10 seconds to get to the area of combat before getting terminated by the game. So there is a list of all the 33 things I found that are wrong with Battlefield 2042. If you found anything else that is wrong with the game, please leave it in the comment section down below. I'm curious to see what other people's experiences are. But again, I want to mention that I am having a really fun time with the game and I think it has a lot of potential, but right now I feel it like it's an unfinished state. There's a lot of things that need to be addressed. Hopefully they will be addressed in the rumored day one patch. But yeah, if these things are fixed, uh, I see a bright future for the game, especially with the portal mode, which is absolutely fantastic. And I highly suggest you try that out if you have access to Battlefield 2042 right now. It is a lot of fun. But anyways, that'll do it for today's video. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.